Advertisers use social psychology in a number of ways to influence consumer behaviour. This includes the use of social norms and different types of social influence. One of the main strategies that advertisers use is to position their brand as part of a social norm. Remember, social norms are the unwritten rules of society that indicate what is considered normal, accepted or even expected. So if an advertiser makes consumers view their product as part of this social norm, they may be influenced to conform to it by buying their product due to normative social influence. Essentially, most of us have a strong desire to fit in, so advertisers exploit this by suggesting that we need to buy their product to fit in. Advertisers also use informational social influence to impact consumer behaviour. To do this, they give the impression that others have more information about a product or behaviour, therefore influencing consumers to conform. For example, by saying 95% of customers agree, this gives the impression that there are many people who are better informed about a product and therefore our desire to be correct, or in this case, have the best product, influences us to conform. This is called social proof, which is essentially a type of informational social influence, as information is provided by advertisers to give the impression that other consumers are more informed. Another example is when we, as consumers, look at reviews as a form of social proof to guide our behaviour. A study that shows the strength of this strategy was done by Berger and Shelton in 2011. They placed a sign next to a university lift saying 90% of people in this university use the stairs rather than the lift. This resulted in 46% more people using the stairs due to the impact of the statement as social proof. This statement created informational social influence as it informed people of a behaviour that they were unaware of. Through both normative social influence and informational social influence, advertisers are trying to achieve the bandwagon effect. You may have heard this term before, or the phrase jumping on the bandwagon. This is the idea that the more people do something, such as buying a certain product, the more likely others will follow. This means advertisers attempt to influence a significant number of people through their advertising. However, at a certain point, the bandwagon effect will take hold. For example, if one person you know has a certain brand of bag, it's unlikely that many other people will conform to the same behaviour. However, if 50 people have it, it's more likely that others will conform. If 100 people do it, it's even more likely, and so on. The number of people required to cause the bandwagon effect is called critical mass. Advertisers often use social media influencers to achieve this critical mass quite quickly, as they have access to large numbers of followers. However, it isn't actually even necessary to achieve this critical mass, as long as the advertisers successfully convince consumers that there is one. Even if everyone isn't buying a certain brand, if they can convince you that they are, there's a chance that the bandwagon effect will work anyway. So overall, the social approach in consumer behaviour is all about conformity, whether it's buying a certain brand to fit in, or buying the same as others as they seem more informed about a product. And the idea that the more people that do this, the more will follow. Despite this, there are also weaknesses in these theories. For example, the use of social norms as an advertising tool can also backfire. Werner tried to create the new norm of using eco-friendly cleaning products within a focus group. However, this backfired and the group ended up further confirming their use of toxic products. This is called the boomerang effect. Conformity is also more likely to occur in collectivist cultures rather than individualist ones. Therefore, social proof is more effective in collectivist cultures. These criticisms mean that although the social approach is widely used in advertising, its effectiveness might be limited.